Hey everybody, welcome back to PTL. I'm Selena Pompiani, and today we are hanging out at the Schoolhouse Arts and History Center, home of the Bethel Park Historical Society. And look who I'm with. I'm with John O'Prasic, one of our favorites here on PTL. Uh -huh. Great to see you again, John. Hi, Selena. Love PTL. <laughs> well, we love you on PTL. Well, it's mutual. So what are we doing here today? Um, five, this has been a five-year, thinking about this, pro my latest art project for five years. Started 18 months ago painting it in my free time. And here it leads us today with PTL and the wonderful Bethel Park people. And this is massive behind you. How big is this um, painting? Uh, for me, it's uh, 32 feet long, three feet high Ooh. on eight canvases. Wow. It's huge. So is there a reason why it's in this space? It looks like it fits perfectly. Um, we have a great, I have a great association with uh, Andy Amrine and the Bethel Park community. And then obviously what's going on with COVID, this is a safe place, but also I wanted to shine a light on what these wonderful people are doing for Bethel Park and they continue to saving history. Awesome. Well, I am ready to show our PTL audience a first look of this fabulous painting. Are you ready? I, I, I think so. <laughs> Can't wait. Let's do it. Wow. This is absolutely incredible, Jono. So nobody has seen this yet. First time you guys, <gasps> first reveal. So tell me more about it. What was the inspiration behind this? Um, my grandfather, the original Jono, uh, he came from Slovakia and he worked in the mill. I uh, was happy to be, uh, make a better life for his family and my dad back in the day. And he was a boilermaker. In, in 1950, he collapsed in a mill and died a week later at home in Munhall. I never met him. I was born nine years later. So that was definitely the inspiration, a personal inspiration. But also, this is Pittsburgh. This is telling the story. This is Pittsburgh. So I, I needed to get this out of me. I was thinking about it for five years, 18 months of work. And I, in my view, the, uh, the Carnegie Steel Mill Company, which became U.S. Steel, was the most iconic mill in Pittsburgh with the Pinkerton riots and the history. And that's where I started. Wow, and I know a lot of people would love to check it out in person and see it up close. Where can they find it um, or see it? At this point, um, it, we're gonna, we want to take it on tour. And that could be uh, libraries are interested, uh, corporations, a history center. This, everything's on the table. So it's going to take a life of its own on tour, and I think that's fabulous. People are going to tell stories, and I think those stories should be recorded somehow by somebody because I'm not able to absorb all that. I just wow. did the painting. Um, and it's just really cool. Art should speak to you, and it, it's going to speak to a lot of people. It has already. Oh, it absolutely does, Jono. Thank you so much okay. for giving us yeah. an exclusive first look uh, today. One thing I might add is I paint with, I have Monongahela sand in the painting, which I always yes. have my paint, but I have actual sand from the mill site in there mixed with enamel. That's my medium in the art world. The rules are no rules. So thank you very much. I love it, Jono. Thank you so well, much. You. Great to see you. Go Pittsburgh. Go Pittsburgh. Go PTL. <laughs> We are in Bethel Park today, hanging out with Jono. I'm Selena Pompiani. We'll send it back to you guys in the PTL studios. That is so neat. And I love like the little touches. We've already all, always known about the sand that he uses, right. but to throw in the other, it, it's just really cool. Yeah, he and thinks so, of everything. And the official title is Carnegie Steel Homestead Works 1926. And it's also hard to believe that Jono created that in his art studio on yeah. the south side slopes like it's so massive it is it's very impressive and this is a look inside his studio we caught up with him there recently now if you're a fan of ptl you know we've featured his work before on the show mm -hmm. you've also seen his work on national tv the set of friends and will and grace yes his work on those shows and his art also hangs in the football hall of fame Steeler offices and homes around the world and in addition to all of that his work always draws a crowd at the Home and Garden Show and also the Three Rivers Arts Festival. So neat. And as you just saw, Jano may have created his biggest and best work of art yet. We are honored to reveal it on PTL today. And congratulations to Jano. Absolutely. And Jano says he will be selling metal prints of this work on his Etsy shop. And you can learn more about his other art on his website. Look for that link at our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.